everyone, it's Thomas Weber here from Mindsales again. Uh, I'm coming back to you with uh, another one of our products. Um, this is uh, a special one, let's say. Uh, it is a handheld uh, disinfection device that we designed for a Canadian company called Akuva Technologies. Um, Akuva specializes in uh, UV LED technology and they're the, one of the market leaders. Um, on the outside world and also the Canadian market. So uh, let's see what's inside the box. So here it is, uh, Akuva Solaris. It is a pocket handheld LED device. You can kind of say it's a pocket size, but it is more compatible with backpack or a Porsche. It comes with a safety button and with a turn on button right here. So once the device, once the light is flashing, the device is ready to use. You press the button and the LED turns on. In fact, the device is using the most powerful UV LED lights that are on the market. The device also has some ventilation at the top. And so one of the biggest challenges during the uh, process, during the design process of this device was the time constraint. Uh, our team, Mindsellers uh, support, was responsible for the design aspect of this project, so mostly conceptual design. And then uh, the team at Akuva over in Canada did the rest. Um, I believe the entire process of the development of the device took around four to five months, which is not so long comparing to um, maybe even years to some of our devices that were developed in the past. So during the development process, our designers have come up with three different concepts and each explored different design direction um, and also each explored different foldable or retractable option. Uh, however, this one was selected uh, as the preferred choice. This has proven um, to be the most time effective in the development and uh, that's the reason why it was selected uh, since it was also practical and uh, the most affordable in production. Another aspect of this project that was pretty challenging was the collaboration itself. Since Akuva is based in Canada, there was around seven to eight hours difference between our companies, which was quite challenging and demanding at the beginning. But once we got the hang of it, um, I think we all did pretty all right. And this is just the proof that a company from Poland and a company from Canada can work together quite effectively despite four or five thousand mile distance and seven to eight hour time difference between them.